conditions are absolutely splendid and the folk of this town have come out in their droves for this match why wouldn't they it is an ideal circumstance for what could be an ideal game everybody has been attracted to it it has been the talk of the town and uh, the buses have been packed double decker buses lining up outside coaches have carried thousands of away supporters here too and uh, all of it adds up to make a terrific a crackling atmosphere the match i think will be quite a spectacle this one of the great amphitheaters of the game you are welcome to it and indeed to one of the grandest fixtures this is the perfect game for all parties, not least the neutrals who've just come to enjoy it. Well, on the face of it, Peter, we would appear to have a high-caliber meeting with very little at stake. But then you consider a, a chance for one or two of the fringe players to get a look in, and this becomes a big incentive. It changes the dynamic. So there's plenty at stake for them, which will do no harm to the energy levels and the overall conviction, and hopefully the style of contest. They've got on the way here pretty promptly. So, Jim, tell me this, who are you looking for in particular here? Yeah, Roberto Firmino. Going for goal! Well, that is rather wayward. Well, that's why we all say indecision is fatal. And back to base. Laporte. Sterling. Plenty waiting in the middle. Sterling played real chance. And he heaves it forward. Robertson. Now it's Mares. Sterling has a pop. Well, you know, thinking about that, I think they perfected that on the train again because it took them seconds to get the ball from back to front. And they really commit forward in numbers too. It was all very well drilled. Deadlock broken, it's 1-0. Yeah, and they know there's plenty of work left in this one, Peter, before they can actually say that the job is over. Rodri gets it back. Cuts it out. And it's Sterling. Is it just me or did he make that look very, very easy? That was terrific skill and composure from him. He finished with such a plum. So that's two now without reply. Well, unsurprisingly, Peter, the opposition looked completely stunned. I'm not sure they can gather themselves. Gomez with the crossfield ball. Just to point out, Peter, that the fullbacks are quite high. And what do they try to achieve? Well, it's obviously a move to push um, the opposition wide men back and, and give them more to think about. Now it's Sterling. 
it seems as if he's just had a momentary lapse and, and slipped into tunnel vision because he had good options around him and he failed to get his head up. Loses his balance and loses the ball. It's not a thing move that. Good inroads into enemy territory, but no joy. Jordan Henderson out to the right. And rich half time. Any strong opinions on the first half? Well, they had their opponents reeling in that half, Peter, and the break may influence a change somehow, but don't hold me to it. Half of massive entertainment and excitement. A two goal margin, yes, but all things still possible. Start of the second half. He's got through. Now a chance to break. He's on his way. He's had a go. He's got away with one there. Oh, that was great pressure to force the initial error, Peter. It's the perfect example as to why this is a favourite tactic of a lot of teams these days. Firmino, Bernardo Silva, now it's Sterling. For face to face, has a pop! Yes! And they are cruising away. The understanding between those two plays a big part in that, and releasing the run on side proved the key ingredient.
free without reply. This is becoming a stroll. Thiago plays it over to the other flank. That'll be a throw in. Good challenge, he just stood firm. Coached through there. Mares is on to it and can take it up. He's had a shot! And the assist there! Players ecstatic, fans delirious. This is utopian. Now looking back at that, that's how you play on the counter. Quick and decisive and ruthless with the finish. I thought it was a stunning, stunning breakaway. It's looking so easy, almost too easy here. No doubt as to who has the momentum here now. The only doubt is how many is coming. And it's Firmino. Yeah, more than happy to take the muscular approach. That's just very well played. He can't hurt you with his back to go, and he didn't go for the back here. Sterling! And he's missed it. His radar picked up on that very quickly, and he was first to react. <laughs> Firmino. This defence is, is wary about opposition pace. So they're just not getting too tight. Yeah, they know that if they, they step up, their, their keeper could get a whole lot busier. Sterling, chance to... Has a hit! He scores! And again, they pile on the misery. Well, I wasn't expecting them to go this big, Peter, but they have been superb. He's made it three, quite a day at the office for him. Oh, he's been unstoppable in this match. Every single time he's been in possession, he's with the threat. It's become a case of men against boys. Liverpool going about it patiently, perhaps too patiently. He's got away. Now the counter. Ferran top. Big chance! <laughs> this is as ruthless as it gets. Listen, when you're on an invitation to improve your goal difference, why he's off? Well, it's been a, an absolutely fabulous spell for them, and they're starting to look unstoppable. There could be more on the way. Jordan Henderson. And it's Mares. Well played, he saw that coming. The ball has crossed the line, and it's a throw. Well, you have to feel a little for the player being taken off here. I think he's been made the scapegoat after that, but I guess something had to be done. I suppose it did need a little change. De Bruyne. Played out to the right. 
Yeah, that's top defending and preventing him turning, which can open up many possibilities. Ferran Torres. Ferran Torres! Really well taken goal. And still they continue with the onslaught. It's part of the game, Peter. It has to get ruthless. Sympathy just doesn't play a part. He snaffles his third, and that earns him the match ball. That defence must be sick of the sight of him. He's been persistent and ruthless all game. He just hasn't stopped working. Well, they're very much the better team at the moment, Peter, and, and no doubt we'll be looking to, to cause even more damage here. And it's Salah. Now it's Mane. And here's Roberto Firmino. And there goes the final whistle. A demolition, destruction, annihilation. They simply ran away with it. So what do you take away from it all, Jim? There's a solidity about them, almost as if they set up not to lose and see how things unfold. That is the pressure on the strikers who can afford to be patient, and it's all paid off. <laughs>